got him! I got him! After all these years! Hello and welcome to Pokesports, a competitive Pokemon podcast. I'm Mike, and I uh, play with one Pokemon on the field. I'm Kevin. I'm backwards. Whoa! Whoa! What? I've people have never seen the back of my head before. No, you have just done something that some people have never seen before. You know this trend that's going on right now about uh, showing your pets things they've never seen before? Yes. Yeah, you have yes, seen Yes, I those. have. Except I've seen it with children, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's usually like <laughs> showing my baby the top of the fridge. <laughs> You've just shown an audience something they've never seen before. This is what it's going to look like when I'm walking away from you at any IC. It's just going to. Oh, yeah. So if you see that. <laughs> okay. So that's this year. So at any IC, if you see Kevin, uh, make sure that you notice him from the back first. And then you come up to him. You're like, hey, Kevin, it's so great to meet you. Uh, love what you do. Um, I noticed you because I learned what the back of your head looks like. <laughs> you know what's going to be great? It's yes. going to be um, what if I go to NIC not in my content creation uniform? You know, <laughs> which is just a Poke Sports shirt. Yeah. What if I just go with like a pastel shirt, no hat? Mm. Do you think anyone would recognize me? I think uh, you'd get a lot of people going like, like with or, their hands takes, above and take below off the their glasses. Eyes. Yeah. Whoa, no one's whoa, gonna. whoa. If you Nobody's go in contact, it's over. <laughs> if you go in contacts, nobody will, will will recognize you. Not a single person. It's like Superman when he puts on the sunglasses, and everyone's like, "Oh, hey, Clark, what's up?" It's always great when I when I'm um, when I'm competing against someone, right? Mm -hmm. And like they don't they they don't even look at me twice. I I, sh I shake their hand. I'm like, "Hey, I'm Kevin." They're like, "Oh, hey, I'm uh, Timmy." Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm Timmy. Nice to meet you. And then we get into the union circle together, and then like my name shows up, Poke Sports, yeah. and they look at me, and I look back, and they look at me again. And they're like, "Oh, I know you." <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting because this is going to be the first nationals where one, I'm not competing, but two, even if I were, if I was doing like side events and that kind of stuff, uh, and I sat down in front of somebody, there is a not insignificant chance that they would have seen you and not me. So they mm. would see Poke Sports in the name and they'd be like, wait a second, you're you're not. And I'd be like, well, I am. I Yes, but <laughs> <laughs> you, you might have seen me in like an episode of the stuff that you've seen. When People still I took ask my for you, Mikey. Phone. I know, I know. And, and you know what? It'll I'm the pro they think I'm stopping you. <laughs> that's the, that's the funniest thing. It's like Kevin, let Mike record once in a while. I'm like, you I'm are. not the one stopping him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. it's like I'm holding you in prison. You're it's holding like me back, <laughs> Kevin. You're holding me back. You you realize this? No, we um, might force Mike to once I yank out my wisdom teeth later this month. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, I said that to my wife the other day that you're getting your wisdom teeth uh, pulled out. All and she was four. Like, all and four. bone grafts. Oh, yep. no. Dude. <laughs> I might be messed up for a bit, Mike. Oh, it might be a bit. Uh, and she was like, oh, poor baby. Because, <laughs> like, <laughs> we both had our... Because you're getting them out, like, kind of late. No, well, that's... You know why? It's because... Okay, so... On two separate occasions, I was recommended to take them out. And on sure. two separate occasions... At the dentist, I assume? Yeah, yeah, so I went to the dentist. Okay, so this is back when I was... Raising canes. <laughs> we were like, yo, you should get your wisdom teeth out. <laughs> Sorry, yo, what's do you that want a Pepsi smell on that? your breast? Yeah. It's decay. Something's decaying in your mouth, my guy. Your wisdom teeth have died? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, was, I think I was like 24, right? Uh -huh. You know, little baby Kevin still on his parents' insurance at 24. I go to the wisdom teeth, get it removed, blah, 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 blah. You got then, them remote? No, no, I didn't get the remote, but I got the consultation. They're like, oh, okay, okay, we're going to okay, do okay. this, 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 this. I got the, the appointment scheduled, everything. And then my insurance gets back to me. I'm like, hey, you can't use this insurance. Okay, so long Ooh. story short, my, my dad's in a different workers' union than I was because I have to be in a meat cutter's union. He's okay. not a meat cutter, so he doesn't have to do that. Of course. So two different unions. They were like, you can't use both of these. So it's going to cost you like four grand unless you switch officially to this other one. I'm like, well, I'm not doing that. Yeah, don't want So that. I'll wait. So, yeah. <laughs> so then I did it again. 
Mm-hmm. When after 26, because after 26, the government says, hey, stop using your parents' insurance. You have to use your own. So I'm like, great. <laughs> government I already forces have my you to own. be an adult. Yeah, I'm like, great. That's fine. Let me go back to the dentist. And they're like, okay, sure. sure no problem. It's going to be like, eh, whatever it is, like $500 or something. Okay. And then I'm like, okay, great. I'll see you in a, in, in a month or so. And then I decided, hey, let's get another job <laughs> and be right. a real estate agent. Okay. And now I have no insurance. <laughs> so I'm just like, wait, now I can't get my wisdom teeth removed <laughs> because I now no longer have insurance. <laughs> so here I am now in another job. Uh-huh. Have insurance. now you have insurance. Yeah, okay, yes. I see it. And now I'm actually getting it done. Now's the time. Hey, Kevin, <laughs> word of advice, don't quit. <laughs> do not leave that job for at least Until after <laughs> another three weeks thanks i only took okay so i'm off that thursday i'm taking the next two days off and planning to go back that sunday do you think i'll be okay to kevin go i'm gonna tell sunday? you right now <laughs> that I'm, I'm that gonna sentence call right there <laughs> it's not gonna happen <laughs> Because I spoke to my, my my GM about it. I was just like, hey, so I'm going to need these these couple of days off to get my wisdom teeth removed. He's like, how many? I said, all four. He's yeah. like, are you sure you don't want more days? I'm like, I think I'll be okay. Why? You think I'll need more? He was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Dude, that, wow. I thought You're... I'm just going to be pumped full of Oxy watching some Planet of the Apes and having a good time on my own. It's going to hurt. That's what you should be doing. That's what I will be doing. But not, for just, doing. not just for two days. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you should be meal prepping, but meal prep jello. All right. Oh, I need like, jello. Yeah, some, oh, is there dude. calories in jello? I don't know, actually. Don't get the zero calories one, that's for sure. Oh, fair. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you, you're going to need like the softest smoothies? things. Smoothies? Can that I you do can smoothies? Get. You can do smoothies. You can do applesauce. You can do protein shakes. Absolutely. I highly recommend protein shakes. You're going to feel uh, a lot better quicker because you're actually mm-hmm. going to repair yourself. This is yes. like advice that I wish a, a person who had just gotten their wisdom teeth out 10 years ago had told me. Because like, Protein shakes. Yeah. Did you get bro- bone grafts too? I did not. I did you know not. Stup- My insurance doesn't pay the bone grafts. It's like so stupid. Like I, if I need them, I need them. Oh. Guys. No, for me, me I had I had nerves wrapped around. This is a Pokemon co- podcast. By yeah, the way. welcome to the Pokesports. Um, <laughs> I had nerves wrapped around my my Ooh. wisdom tooth, and like if they did it wrong, Ooh. I could lose feeling on the side of my face. Uh, thankfully, they That's didn't, and like I, I feel great. But uh, but then you could take all the punches from one side of your face. I could have taken so many punches. I would have I would have been I would have become a scrapper. Go ahead, go yeah, ahead, go. go. Ah, right here, here, right here. Yeah. Breaks anyway. jaw doesn't feel it. <laughs> That's what they would have called me, Michael. Breaks jaw doesn't feel it. Buse. Michael Lockjaw. Yeah. Michael Lockjaw. <laughs> so there you go. I would have leveled up. That's welcome back. Uh, the Pokemon podcast that we do. Uh, that's it's fun. Yeah, it's a good time. Uh-huh. And you know what? This is going to be for the amount of Pokemon that we're going to be talking about uh, for the next like 15, 20 minutes. Uh, there's a lot of non Pokemon stuff that we have to talk about today, because oh, nice. for the past two weeks, I have been allowing people to hijack the questions. So for episode 213, 214, they've been po- putting whatever they want. And today we're going to be answering those. Ask us anything. Mm-hmm. A-U-A. But, but first, uh, we need to talk some Pokemon because we have th- three regionals to talk about. Los Angeles, Mexico City, and Lima. Uh, and then next week, we have NEIC. Which will be it. Are we? Okay. No podcast next week. No podcast we next figure, week. We tell We're you guys right now, now so you guys mm-hmm. don't, don't miss us. Mm-hmm. Usually, we have this little ritual. Uh of you know getting a podcast studio and going to a podcast studio and doing it online and doing it not doing it online doing it live uh but this year we're like let's enjoy the time a bit Let, mm. let's enjoy new orleans actually because it's yeah. like this it's this big vibrant place we'll talk all about it May yeah we'll talk all about it i'll make sure to take lots of pictures i'll post some stuff on the instagram because i'm getting better at that now <laughs> uh and we'll, we'll talk about it when we're back but for now, yeah. we've got, which one do you want to start with? Los Angeles, Mexico City, or Lima? 
Okay, Los Angeles is the biggest. Biggest to smallest or smallest to biggest? Yeah, let's go biggest to smallest. Do Los Angeles. Biggest to smallest. We've got Los Angeles that happened on May 25th and 26th with 612 Masters players. Uh, Two days worth of Pokemon. And we have the top. Can we talk about the the, the disaster that was Los Angeles Regionals first? Did you hear Please about this, do. Mike? No, I you're didn't. Kind of, you're kind of away from the Pokemon space nowadays. So what ended it. up happening is that the internet wouldn't work at the convention center. No, no, <laughs> so no. It was 11, like 11, 20, 11, 30 before round one started. No. So round one officially started at eight o'clock like usual. But the majority of games, so about half the games went through, they finished. Mm-hmm. I, I saw a Pangy tweet. It was kind of funny. It's just like. Got the early lunch break, guys, because his match actually finished and hit the second round wouldn't start for like three hours later, which is right. absolutely in- intense to the point oh. where instead of finishing out the rounds, they did uh, rounds eight and nine on day two. So people that didn't make it to day two still had to come back and play in day two. Oh, no. Which sounds like a disaster. <laughs> That's so sad because what that they're they're nine rounds right so there are some yeah. people who have gone like seven and oh there are people who have gone six and one and they're not sure if they've mm-hmm. made it into day two the six and ones are the most tragic because yeah, yeah. at that point like you can just lose the next two and you'd go six mm-hmm. and three and you wouldn't be there for day two but you're showing up on day two anyway half the time when people go to these things when people travel from out of town they try to incorporate a little bit of travel into it Mm-hmm. So they'll say like, okay, well, I'll go on day one and I'll I'll try my best for day one. And if I end up getting into day two, then great. I'll I'll go to the actual event for day two and I'll, I'll go as far as I can go. But if I lose on day one, then I have day two to go and have some fun. I get to go, go around and do some stuff. Tell me that day two, they at least did those last two rounds. Like first thing. I really hope so. I really I don't hope know. so. I, I don't I know that much really, information. Really hope but that's for everybody's such, sake. Yeah. Such a tragic regional. And it's not the it's the things like a lot of people are blaming the event coordinators. It's not even their fault. The game just sucks, guys. It, I mean, the yeah. game sucks and the hardware ain't there. It it truly is tragic. Like <laughs> there is there is a lot that people can do to try and like make sure that that load doesn't happen. Clearly the wrong people were looking at you know, the amount that the internet could take or they underestimated it or something. Uh, These things can be prevented, but honestly, like you need a very specific type of knowledge to figure out how to make, make that not happen. Y'all remember link cables? Yeah. Yeah, Let's just, why don't we just use link cables? Just connect them manually together. I thought that was a link cable. I was like, what? No, that's a USB. (laughs) And you know what? Guess what? The switch can accept. Yep. Mm, yep. So USB C. <laughs> just link ca- anything can link cable now. Wow. Wouldn't that be fun? Wouldn't that be do the something? do the do the noise the doom? Oh, I got do you. you. Have it. That's not the one. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Are you talking about this one? <laughs> no, what's the 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 big bass scary noise? Oh yeah, I got from, I, from I, the yeah, anime. Right oh, uh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Here you go. P. I give up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I thought you lost it for a second. No, of course not. I don't lose anything. Anyway, uh, we're talking about Los Angeles. We have the top four here. Uh, of course, this is a regional. So what uh, typically happens is the person who comes in first uh, gets 200 championship points, $6,000. The person who comes in second gets 160 championship points, $4,000. Third and fourth get 130 championship points, $2,000. And fifth to eighth get 100 championship points and $1,000. There's a sliding scale after that, but really the ones that we focus on here on Pogi Sports are the top eight. Uh, and the ones we really focus on are the top four. And that's what we're going to be doing for all these three. For Los Angeles, coming in fourth, we have, I don't know why we have to change the jazz for it, but yeah. we have CK49, who came in with a Calyrex Shadow, a Rillaboom, Rillyboom, uh, Incineroar, Urshifu Rapid Strike, Clefairy, and a Raging Bolt. This is a very standard team that we've seen, a bunch. Yeah, Clefairy, again. Cali Cali Shadow's best friend. Yeah, yeah, I miss Clefairy, Calyrex Shadow. No, you don't. No, I don't. You'll see it again later in top eight. 
Oops. <laughs> yeah, do not care for it. It uh, it keeps Calyrex Shadow alive and it makes for a very stressful time because the mm-hmm. Calyrex Shadow can live a lot of things that it shouldn't be able to live. And then it powers up with uh, Astral Astral Barrage and then it, it just destroys the rest of your team. See, I want to take a look real quick at Addy's Cali Shadow because it's actually running Calm Mind too. Mm. So you can follow me Calm Mind and then start hurting with Cali Shadow. Also rocking Covert Cloak, so you can't even snarl this thing down. This thing is so annoying. Yeah, really. Calyrex Shadow with Calm Mind is basically saying, you know, let me get my first uh, as one boost or my first uh, chilling, uh, chilling spectral nay. What was that one's called? I forgot what uh, it was called. Mm, Grim nay. Uh, Grim nay. Yes, that sounds like the correct one. That sounds right. And you know what? S- scary horse. Scary <laughs> horse. Yeah, it's Grim nay. <laughs> scary sound. <laughs> Ah, woo! Nay, uh, nay. <laughs> that's that's. <laughs> if Grim Day had a sound, that would be it. Nay. <laughs> um, it, it's basically saying, yeah, you know what? Let me just guarantee that on the first turn, and then Astral Barrage, like I had it. Yeah, it's scary. Um, this Clefairy also has Sing. Is that normal for a Clefairy? It doesn't sound like it. Uh, I mean, hey, if you really need it, you have it. It's not yeah. an accurate move, but if you're really desperate, it's one thing to do. When it hits, it hits. So Instead yes, of Moonblast, that, yeah. But yeah. I mean, like, Moonblast, man. It can hurt Karaidons. <laughs> wow, you you just given Moonblast a, a slogan. Moonblast. Yeah, Moonblast. It can hit Karaidons. <laughs> Get Moonblasted today. 1-800-MOONBLAST. It's too many numbers. It's That's too many. way like, too many wait, numbers. Wait, did that work? My brain went to... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, coming in third, we've got Kian Campbell, uh, who went in with a Zacian, the only Zacian that we have in top eight. Rillaboom, Umbreon. Umbreon's back. Umbreon. Uh, Urshifu, Rapid Strike, Chen Pao, and Tornadus. All right, let's talk about this Umbreon. Okay, I'm trying to think. Why Umbreon over Incin? I'm currently still thinking. Okay. Snarl? Uh, Incin mm-hmm. can get that. Um, taunt, Incin can get that. Yawn. Yeah. Instant, Instant can cannot get, get that. Or it doesn't no. use that anyway. Yeah. Foul play. Instant can probably get that, but why would it? it has but dark. you know what? You can flinch an Instant. You can't flinch an Umbreon. Fair. Mm-hmm. And honestly, mm-hmm. Umbreon is probably a lot tankier too. Hey, listen. He got top three, not me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he did pretty good. Both I of do them like don't the, like Urshifus, but this Umbreon doesn't mind a, a surging strikes. I do like the adaption on this uh, Zacian because Zacian currently struggles a lot against Ensign because of Intimidate, right? Okay. Because you don't get the Intrepid Sword every turn afterwards like you used to. Yes. So this Zacian actually has Sword Stance. Yeah. So, okay, you Intimidate me, I'm now plus two. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm now plus one. I'm back to plus one. No, I'm plus yep, two. Yep, yep, yep. And I then the back. rest of the team is doing pretty good. Yeah, that is that is a plus two after the Sword Stance. Uh, that's really cool. Also, Ground Terror Rillaboom. Tell oh, me you true. hate Maridon without telling me you hate Maridon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. You got rid of my grassy terrain. Well, at least now you can't hit me. <laughs> Good luck. Because that's true. I mean, you're you're. This is like saying that I know what's going to be countering my Rillaboom when I send out my Rillaboom. So let me do something that will help counter what you're going to counter me with. Mm-hmm. Let me figure it out before you get here. Right. Because what, what you know, you can imagine happening is like you have two Pokemon in the field from your opponent and you send out your Rillaboom. To counter that, they swap out a Pokemon. They send out the Maridon to overwrite the field. But while while they're doing that and you know that they're going to do that, you terastalize your, your Rillaboom. You go into ground. You hit them with a uh, high horsepower or hit the slot with a high horsepower. And you KO a uh, Maridon on switch in. You also get stab on that high horsepower too. Sure do. So there's a double. There's a nice little, little plus one there. However, I do find it funny and a little maybe ironic. I don't know if it's ironic. Uh, where you know you have the Rillaboom on the same team as you have the Umbreon. The Umbreon is the one that's going to be yawning. But then if you send out the Rillaboom and they swap that out, they swap out you know their Pokemon for a uh, for a Maridon overwrite the grassy terrain. Your yawn's not going to work anymore. Yeah, your yawn's broken. There are no P. Yes. Uh, Coming in second, we have Ryan Haig, Botchkiss. 
who killed it in Swiss. Absolutely. 13 and 1 is amazing. Uh, Calyrex Ice, Amoongus, Incineroar, Urshifu, Rapid Strike, Pelipper to boost the Urshifu Rapid Strike, and uh, Raging Bolt. Again, another Raging Bolt. By the way, just before we get into this team, honorable mention to Iron Hands finally uh, showing up in top eight. Oh, uh, where? That's in number five from Justin Hey, Burns. Justin. He sees the hands. Guys, mm-hmm. prepare for the hands. NAIC 2024. At and least on Justin's team. Funny <laughs> enough, no Maridons. And yeah, no Maridons in, in uh, top eight at all. What are you talking about? I see a Maridon on Justin's team. I also see a Coridon on Justin's team. I also that's see true. a Zacian on the, Justin's team. I also see a Zamazenta on Justin's crazy, team. That's crazy because that can be like a that's, that can be a Clefairy as well. Like <laughs> it's it's amazing that Justin has two Amoonguses. Nuts. How Nuts. did he do it? <laughs> he's got a ditto. That's what he's talking about. All right. So let's talk about Ryan Higgs team here. We've got the Pelipper and the uh, Urshifu combo here, uh setting up the rain and and surging strikes. Uh, for maximum fun. But this one's also got coaching. I see a strat that's happening here. Yeah, coaching is what I'm looking at. Urshifu lead next to Calyrex. Yeah. This might be just, and not a max speed Calyrex, but a not min speed Calyrex, if that sure. makes sense. So like an adamant 31 speed IVs, et cetera, et cetera, Calyrex. You can just do that next to coaching, get the free plus one right away, and then eventually just swap into a Pelipper, clip help, Click helping hand because I guess Pelipper has hands, not sure. wings. Sure. <laughs> sure. That's that's great. And you just sit there and glacial lance everything until you win. Okay, so here's how this works, right? So you've got the Urshifu and the Calyrex side by side. You you use the coaching from the Urshifu onto the Calyrex Ice. That Calyrex Ice is never gonna die for the rest of the for the rest of the game. Uh you're expecting your Urshifu to die. So you're you're just like coaching until death. Uh and yeah, then once scarf, the Urshifu is so. down, exactly, right? Uh, once the Urshifu is down, you send out the Pelipper, you, you helping hand, and you uh, you go to town with the Glacial Lance. Because, like, put yourself in this situation. If you have an Urshifu coaching next to a Calyrex Ice, yeah. which one do you attack first? Do you attack the one that's currently plus one, plus one in defense and attack? Right. Or do you attack the one that's going to make them plus two, plus two in defense and attack? It's like, mm-hmm. ah, I don't know what I'm doing here. Where plus can this go the, wrong? You've got the trick room. So you can just, you know, set that up on the turn that turn that you expect the Urshifu to go down, send out the Pelipper and then helping hand on the next turn because it has priority and use your Glacial Lands first turn because your Calyrex Ice is slow. Then Amoongus on this team, too. It's like even if you set Trick Room against this team, like they got an Amoongus to punish you for it. Yeah. Nothing's going easy for you. Yeah, this team just does it all, huh? This team does a really good job. Yeah, this team I'm, looks like it went 13 and 1 in Swiss. This is a classic L.A. team. Like, you know, this is Hollywood team yeah. right here. Yeah. <laughs> LA team, yeah. LA team, yeah. Wait, I think I got one for you. Do I? Wait a second. Oh. Uh, yeah. There it is. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. That's going right. to be the one entrance at Money in the Bank that Mike's going to know when to say what he has to say. I'm absolutely going He's to gonna do be like, every oh, single. Hey, night. And you're like, yeah. I know this, I know this. Yeah. <laughs> every single call and response that happens. <laughs> Uh, I will be there for. I will do my best to respond to every call and <laughs> to, to respond to every English. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Coming in first, we've got Montana Mont, Montana Mott, excuse me, with a Calyrex uh, Shadow this time. Incineroar, Rillaboom. Wait a second. I've said this before. Urshifu Rapid, Clefairy, <laughs> and Tornadus Incarnate. Hang on. This is the exact same team as fourth. No. No, it's not. It's nah, almost. there's a Raging Bolt. It's very similar, bolt. though. Yeah. So it has five out of the six same Pokemon as the fourth, which just goes to show that that group of Pokemon is really, really good. That group of five is really, yes. It, it's it's literally Clefairy plus Calyrex Shadow and a Grass Water Fire Core. Right. And the Grass Water Fire Core of the decade, Big Red Luminson, and the, the, the best water starter, Urshifu. Oh. Uh, Remind me, uh, Gen, oh, Gen 8, not 7, 7, was... Alola. D- Litten was in that one, right? Yeah, that's Incineroar's Gen. Right, okay, it's not Rillabooms, though. That's the next one. Gen 8, yes. Gen 8, okay, cool. Someone was driving really fast past me. Just like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> um, 
okay great because for a second i was like oh no they're in the same generation and the the water starter is mm. the water starters in general man they're they're kind of they don't get it here yeah yeah slacking we need a water starter that can just like completely outclass everybody and that's what they're gonna do they're gonna do that in gen 10 they just have to make them break through protect and stuff yeah if they can make if they can make a water pokemon pokemon better than watersh Mm -hmm. then we're done we're good I think that is the power creepers job at, at game freak <laughs> at the Pokemon company is like, okay, how can we make a water starter that is secretly better than Urshifu? Always a scene fist <laughs> ultra instinct. <laughs> you know, your opponent's next turn before they know their next visible turn. fist. Yeah. It's a water psychic <laughs> type. It's a star me. <laughs> they just make star me a starter. Starter slow me. King. You can do slow king. Ah. Slow bro. Yeah. Hey, uh, we've got questions to get to, but let's Uh-oh. finish up Mexico City and Lima first. Uh speed run, speed run, speed, speed run. Speed run. Okay. Esteban Molina, who came in fourth at Mexico City, which happened on May 26th, 134 players. That's a pretty small sample size yet again. Uh, it's gonna get smaller uh when we get into Lima after this. But anyway, Mexico City came in fourth, Esteban Molina. Uh, with Zamazenta crowned Rillaboom, Incineroar, Chen Pao, Pelipper, and Fluttermane. Uh, That's the best Zamazenta team, hands down. That, uh, 100%. I can say that. Yeah, I've seen this team on ladder. It's scary. It's not fun to play against. Really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mario Villanueva came in with the Maridon. We found a Maridon. Uh, Maridon, Whimsicott, Ogre Pun, Hearthflame, Iron Hands. Iron Hands came in third. Uh, Blur Saluna and for richer Uh it's great to see a great to see an iron hands that isn't you know beside a ditto yeah i think iron hands needs to be next to my on that's the only way to make it at least a little better than what's the other one raging bolt raging bolt mm, that's fair uh well it, you know what it's interesting seeing an iron hands uh come in third because this is the only top eight yes correct this is the only top eight where we see multiple Maridons. There's a second Maridon in uh, Rin Liba's uh, team who came in second. Came it's in crazy. With a Maridon, Whimsicott, Incineroar, uh, Urshifu Rapid Strike, Farouk and Blur Saluna. Very similar team, except an Ensign. Yeah, an Ensign over an Ogre Pond and then an Urshifu over an Iron Hands. But this is the thing. It's like Maridon takes over the ladder. Like Maridon is everywhere when I'm playing really? ranked ladder. Oh. The second you get to Tours, it doesn't win Tours often. It doesn't even get top that, eight often. I guess that kind of tracks, though, doesn't it? You, you see that pretty often in ladder where, like, the thing that's dominating the ladder is not necessarily the thing that dominates a best of three. It's like this completely different format. You know what else is surprising is that the first mm. place team is the same as <laughs> the last first place team. <laughs> You're right. Y- y- y'all need something to prepare for when you go to NAIC? Listen closely. <laughs> David Rodriguez coming in with the same team. Calyrex, Shadow, Rillaboom, Incineroar, uh, Urshifu, Rapid Strike, Clefairy, and Tornadus Incarnate. Uh, person from LA messages David's like, hey, hey, listen, I did, I did a good thing. And they're I got like, the sauce. I know. I just won with it too because those things happened on the exact same day. <laughs> they probably oh, had they a, did. They probably had a fun talk about that. <clears throat> but yeah, we've already talked about that team. It's a, it's a really good team. Go and prepare for it at uh, NAIC because it's going to be everywhere. It's been everywhere uh, for the past couple of months. Well, terrifying. Month. Past couple of weeks, yes. <laughs> past couple of weeks. And then in Lima, 63 players, Lima, Peru. Uh, 25th and 26th of May, six Swiss rounds and a top eight single elimination. Uh, this one, like Mexico City, was just for championship points, not for any dollars. But uh, there you have it. Coming in fourth, we had Gonzalo Barrera, who came in with a team that's almost like that first place team that we've been talking about, but a little yeah. bit different. Uh, we've got Calyrex Shadow, Clefairy, uh, Incineroar, Urshifu Rapid Strike, uh, Whimsicott, and Mianxiao. And Clap. again, there it is. You got the clapper. T- and then it's uh, terrapagos.jpg. It's the terrapagos uh, yeah. regional. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then it's terrapagos is all the way down. Oh, it's turtles all the way down. Um, 
we've got Sebastian who comes in with uh, Tera- uh, yep, there it is, Terapagos and Moongus, Chiyu, Urshifu, Single Strike, uh, okay. Tornadus Incarnate, and Raging Bolt. Fancy. That's interesting. And a nearly a mirror match for first and second. That's wild. <laughs> I kind of want to see that final. <laughs> right. Now, hold on. This says, oh, hold on. I think they put the wrong JPEG. It's an Urshifu Rapid Strike. Okay, that that mm. that tracks a little bit better because I was wondering like why would they put a Dirsh when they have a clear grass water fire core there right in the middle? They totally do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's Terapagos Raging Bolt Chiyu Amoongus Tornadus and Urshifu Rapid Strike. Well, there you go. Coming in. S- there's a second. This is the first time this has happened. There's a second Sebastian. Oh, but there's two Sebastian names. Oh. Uh, this Sebastian, Sebastian Rodriguez, came in second. Got uh, brought a Tornadus Volcarona. Terrapagos, Incineroar, Rillaboom, and Clefairy. So Volcarona. Yeah. Mm. Clefairy's also a really good partner to, Ra- sure. to Terrapagos, isn't it? Is this like a combine set too? On Terrapagos? Probably. On Terrapagos, yes. Yeah. That's so right. you Terrace sit there, you song. calm mind, you mm-hmm. follow me, you do it over and over until the end of time, until they're too strong for them to deal with. It's interesting. I this is it. the same same kind of thing with uh, Urshi, no, not Urshi, but with uh, Calyrex. Calyrex mm-hmm. Ice, I think that we we looked at. Uh, both of them had Covert Cloak. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Both of those, of uh, I need to set up one before I start attacking. Yeah. It's Tower just for Snarls and right. Icy Wind. Yeah. yeah. Snarls, Icy Winds, Fake Outs. Because a great way of dealing with Terrapagos right away is to fake it out mm-hmm. and then attack it because you break the Terra Shell and then you can actually do damage to it. Right. But if you're Covert Cloak, you can fake it out, but you don't get the full punishment for it. Mm, you don't get to true. flinch so right, that's right. always nice okay and then coming in first we have dorian dorian who got a who brought in a terrapagos clefairy uh incineroar ogre pond wellspring mm. tornadus and volcarona again so top two with the volcarona very similar yeah yeah only oh. difference being ogre pond over rillaboom but the right. Volcarona is there probably for Zambazenta's and Zations, is my mm-hmm. assumption. Also mm-hmm. deals with like Calyrex Ice very well. Yeah. I mean, a, a good set of, you know, teams to be shown off before NAIC. NAIC, by the way, folks, like NAIC is the big one. All right. This is like, apart from Worlds, this is the one that you're going to want to watch. If you're able to watch uh, these things, this is the one that you're going to want to look at the stats afterwards because they're going to be wild. Uh, it's it's good. It's a good time. You know what's crazy? Out of all of the regionals we went over today, the most common denominator was Clefairy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Other than the obvious Grass, Water, Fire, Core, in Cinderella, mm-hmm. or Shifu. Clefairy was the, was the most common thing here. I find it really interesting, and I'd, I'd love to see if there's data about this, but I want to know, like, of the original 151, I want to know which ones are used the most today in VGC. Currently, it's Clefairy. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that Clefairy has got to be out there. <laughs> Depending on the meta, you've got your Charizards and stuff, sure. But, but like... I'm I'm just thinking about anything else, and yeah, it w- that would probably be just Clefairy. Gyarados, maybe sometimes Dragonite. Sure. Okay, sure. Chen Pao Dragonite. Okay, I get that. Yeah. a little bit. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's right now. It's Clefairy. I, <laughs> I'm looking at top eight. I'm looking at the last couple of top eights. Currently, at the moment, right before an AIC, it's Clefairy. The <laughs> one who has stood the test of time consistently. <laughs> Has been Clefairy. Because, like, that thing, it it was there for Sword and Shield, too. Like, it was huge in Sword and Shield. And that's, so, you know what's, you know the reason why it's Clefairy is because of Friend Guard. Oh, so that's, that's how we break Next Generation's Water Starter. Mm. Friend Guard. Done. Friend yeah. Guard, follow me. Suddenly, fr- it'll replace Urshifu. Give Friend Guard to a Prevo and let somebody put Evie Light on it. Because that's, the, that that's the thing, like, it it needs to have, like, incredible defenses. And Eviolite does that to a Pokemon. It, it Fair, gives them yeah, incredible yeah. defenses. You can't make a Pokemon that just inherently has that much defense, because then the, the impetus is going to be to give a body press and, like, make it be an offensive presence. Like, Clefairy is, is the one. 
Remember when people were saying Evil Light Duraldon's going to be better than our Chalodon? Where'd those people now? <laughs> Where'd that go? Where'd that Where'd go? Where'd those people? Yeah. It's actually not. <laughs> the the other thing is, like, Tandem Mouse has Friend Guard sure. as, or Mouse Hold, excuse me, mm-hmm. has Friend Guard in its final form, but it's not like people are rushing to you do Evil Light Tandem Mouse. No. Right? Like, no, you don't do true. that. Well, so okay, it depends. Let's, it depends maybe on it's what the, the Pokemon is. Is it like because it's a perfect cocktail of like good stuff, this Clefairy, because it's like a fairy type? Well, okay. So would Clefable with Friend Guard be better? Would you use Clefable with Friend Guard over a Clefairy? No, I don't think so. Because the reason we can't is because it doesn't learn it. Mm, I don't think so. Just because of the defenses again. Do you think Clefable is tankier? Well, I'm Is less tanky? I think no. I think Clefable. The difference in in stats is actually big enough to justify it. Oh, interesting. Doesn't always have to be a baby. Because I'm just looking. So I'm looking at this right now. This I'm looking at this right now. We've got Clefairy with 65 special defense, right? And we've got Clefable with 90. So special defense is I not. It it's not that. that. It's not that different. Yeah. Eviolite that boosts by 50, percent right? Yeah. So it would yeah, go so. to. It's a little bit higher than Clefables, but not very. Not by very much. I think it's the HP that makes the biggest difference, right? The HP is 70 on Clefairy. It's 95 on Clefable, yeah. Uh, I thought Clefable was tankier than that. No. Clefable kind of sucks. What the heck? Clefable's not great. It's base uh, 483. (laughs) Uh, Defense was 48 on Clefairy and 73 on Clefable. So with another, what, 24 defense? It's 72. It's It's one under. (laughs) Yeah, it's not even worth it. That's crazy. Okay, maybe we need a generation 10 Pokemon, not a generation one Pokemon to have friend guard for us to make this calculation. We need to figure this <laughs> Cause, out. Because <laughs> like currently it's like, oh, we're using really antiquated stat Pokemon sure. to make our decision. <laughs> but hold on. So with Tandemouse, though, because you, you made a good point earlier, like Tandemouse, it has 20 base stats less for HP than Clefairy. I'll give it that. But... Like defenses are both 45. Clefairies are 48 and 65. Okay, so Clefairies okay, just Clefairies by and large better. better. Okay, wow. And mouse holds by and large better than Tandem Mouse by far then. Because I'm assuming oh, yeah, mouse holds yeah. around 500 something, right? Is something like that, that was. Yeah, it's, yeah it's Tandem fine. Mouse is 305 and then yeah, it's Mouse horrible. Hold is 470. Yeah. Oh, 470. Oh, that's not as much as I thought. <laughs> no, I'm not great. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's why they're also not used. Sucks. Yeah. Okay. All right. This will determine everything. What Vivalon and whatever the heck is it? <laughs> Why are we talking about Vivalon now? Friend Guard. It has Friend Guard. What? Yeah. It does. You haven't You're seen it since right. Generation Six is the problem, but it has oh. Friend Guard. <laughs> okay. Base stat total is four eleven. <laughs> oh. Okay. Next. Okay. Hey, never mind. Garbage. Forget it. Forget Absolute it. We're, we're done. We're done here. <laughs> so yes. Next generation starter. Give it Friend Guard. We'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, now, hang on. What if we do Spupa? <laughs> Wait one darn Nope, minute. never mind. Base stat total, 213. Defense is 60. Ooh, special Oops. defense is 30. Okay, well, uh, while we're on the topic, what the heck else learns friend guard? Iggly buff? Happy <laughs> Iggly buff. <laughs> Isn't that so sad? They gave Happy friend guard, but not Blissey or Chansey. They knew what they were doing because they yeah. they really realized how irritating that would be. That would have absolutely broken it. Yeah. Or I guess Jigglypuff also gets it for what it's worth. It's yeah, but it's yeah, but it doesn't get follow me. So next, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, there's not a lot of Pokemon that learn this ability because it's kind of correct. That's yeah. why. Give me Clefairy a better friend is... guard, please. Yep. All right. Maybe not. Maybe we shouldn't ask for this. Maybe this <laughs> Careful is like, what we wish be... for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is beyond what we need. We should not be campaigning for a better friend guard user than Clefairy. You know, just let your Pokemon, just let your friends get hit. It's okay. <laughs> you don't have to guard them all the time. Welcome hey, you know back. how to say friend guard in French? How? Guard ami. You know how to say uh, guard of war in English? No. Guard of war. Do you know how to say in, in German? Frieden shut. <laughs> Friend shut? Is that what it is? Freuden, Freuden, shot and Freud? What? Yeah, it's it's Freuden shut. Yeah. Friend guard. All right. There you go. Okay. All right. Past two questions. weeks, <clears throat> we have been asking questions. 
back in 2.13 and 2.14. Uh, but, 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 but I have those questions. Maybe I do in front of me. We'll see. Who knows? Yeah, I do. Uh, is, you can ask these qu- answer these questions, by the way, on Spotify. If you are listening there and if you're on Apple Podcasts, then what you can do instead is leave a five star review. And I've got one for us later. Uh, we'll get into that in a bit. But first, uh, we've got 213's question for VGC all around the world. I said, ask us anything. And Evangeline says, is Pommy Terra water good? And I said anything. And they chose this. They chose, is Pommy water Terra good? And so it's my duty. Pommy? Pommy. The little one. Yep. Okay. Okay. What do you think, Kevin? No. All right. Uh, <laughs> No, I, I the big one. OK, fine. Maybe. Uh, yeah, but the little one. No. Yeah. Uh, Amnesia says what two gimmicks would best balance each other out in a VGC setting? Ooh. Mm. They want two gimmicks at the same time. Yeah. So what what gimmicks do we have? Right. We've got uh, Megas, Z-moves, Dynamax, Megas Z-moves, Dynamax and Terra. Terra. Mm-hmm. And I guess weather if you include Gen 5, but whatever. Yeah, we already do that. Um. Yeah, let's talk about the gimmicks that aren't there right now. Okay, which I one, would say I can make this super easy for you. Actually, which one of those three gimmicks, Terra Dynamax and Z moves, stacks up to terrestrialization? I would never say Dynamax and anything else. So you, we can kick Dynamax out. I don't mm. think Dynamax belongs anywhere near something else. It's already too much. I think Dynamax um, did too much. Yeah, it's way too much. Uh, I would probably say Megas and. Terras. Unfortunately, I don't want to say that, but I'll say that. Just because the same way a Mega can be a surprise factor, so can a terrestrialization on the opposing side of the field. Yeah. I think as long as Megas can't terrestrialize and you limit them to that respect, like if yes. you if yes. you click Mega, you can no longer click Terra on top of a Mega. Like you are done. Yeah. Now, what about this one? Can one uh Pokemon Mega and the other one terrestrialize? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. Like mm-hmm. on the same, like your VGC 2v2 yeah. on the side of on your side the of the opponent. field. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the opponent can also do the exact same thing as you. So That's it's fair. not the, the issue is with Z moves. And the reason I hate Z moves because they were a one shot button. No metagame mm-hmm. should have a healthy one shot button that you're not punished for. Right. It's like, right. If you're clicking a one shot button, you're either KOing yourself or you're recharging in the next turn. That makes sense. But if you're clicking a one shot button just because you you do a funny dance, like that's a problem. <laughs> and then in the next generation after that, they made it so you could do three one shot buttons in a row. <laughs> so, yeah. And by the way, you got boosts for doing those one shot buttons. Uh huh. <laughs> remember when you could just max airstream and be faster next turn? Do you remember that the, the, it breaks through protect thirty percent of the damage? Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. stupid why does it break <laughs> protect it's so dumb why did it break protect um all right what's next yeah so anyway the the answer to that question is megas and terrestrialization i think stack up pretty well which hey if pokemon za does have megas and they do keep it in this generation technically that might be a thing that we see soon. oh i really hope so that would be cool. Oh, that would be a really I good way so hope so. to mix up worlds for the final yeah. year of this game. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, Mr. Kurtastic says, what's your favorite battle theme or song in any Pokemon game? Oh, in any Pokemon game. Mm-hmm. That made it a little harder. Mm-hmm. See, I'm not good with names, though. That's my problem, because I just go in random and let it ride. Right. I really like the Toby Fox one from Sword and Shield, but I think sure. if I'm going to choose something in... This generation, I'm going to say Cassiopeia. That's what I use at every regional. Oh, It gets fair. me pumped in. My favorite oh, yeah. has <laughs> got to be, and like thinking objectively here, like I I just need to pick one that, that I can just rock with, you know? <clears throat> and I've got to say that my favorite is Wally's Theme. <laughs> yeah shut up mike I you know, love a lot of people Wally's ask theme. for that song Wally's and theme? i never know what to say that no 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 uh you know oh. here i don't know 
your Iono gym. The thing is, like, that's Iono's gym song, but it's not in the gym song. It's like while you're doing this quest before the gym, right? Right, right. Yeah, if anyone so wants the the name of this tune, by the way, it's Iona Livestream. It's Iona Livestream there one and two. There you go. There you have it. <laughs> Everyone's like, where, the... where'd you get this song? It sounds where's familiar, that? but at the same time, I can't find it anywhere. It's so <laughs> catchy. I know. That's why I play it often at the beginning of every battle. <laughs> bum, bum, I think it's a, bum, bum. I think that song, by the way, is the, those two songs are the best like lead in to a battle. Yes. Like. Hands down. I love putting it every single time. I'm going to continue putting it every single time for the rest of this game because I just think it's so much better than what we currently have. The ba da ba da I think that's – get that out of there. Yes. You, Give me you literally more. get that out of there. <laughs> I like – oh, it's that, that muted like <laughs> – I love it. Uh, Josh Foucault says, what's the best Reggie? There is a correct answer. Is it design or or actual like? Okay, what? so we need ranking criterias for this. Yeah, regime. yeah. Okay, so let's talk <clears throat> cry. Let's talk design. Let's talk uh, which one can uh, hang the best. Like which one off of the monkey bars? Sure. Uh, and which one you would most like to uh, go to laser tag with? Okay. I, yeah. I have answers to all these, actually. I'm sure you do. <laughs> Who doesn't? Which one are we starting with? Uh, okay, best yeah. cry. We, we already know what this one is, right? Yeah, I mean, obviously. I do it. Reggie Rock. It's the yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. Coolest uh, design. Coolest design. I'm going to say Drago. So uh, unique. Mm. I, like I would have said Reggie Alecki, but I think uh, we ruined Reggie Alecki for ourselves. <laughs> like you know, it would have been so good if it just wasn't so obnoxious in Sword and Shield. <laughs> it would be so good if it wasn't so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because like I hate it now. Like Clefairy. Oh, I think it's so cute, but it's Clefairy, and that I, I, means things now. I think I would take Regilecki the laser tag though. Oh, it's so fair. fast. Yeah, so he can win that. He can win that one. Mm-hmm. And then which one can hang from monkey bars the best? Easiest, the one with actual fingers. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> No, I was going to say uh, steel. Ah, okay. Okay, yeah, it does have fingers. Also, they both have fingers. Nah, let's, but, let's two-way tie. No, no, no. Well, <laughs> fingers aren't the only criteria, though, my friend. Your, your Reggie Steel, I think, is probably the right one because that can lock in, right? Oh, but yes. Gigas, it's got a bit of a slow start it's, going, it's slow right? Start. So, like, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's holding on, and it's like, no. It's going to take a while for it to get strong, down. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, people will know that's genius. Uh, people in the comment section and the, the because I went no, because Gigas also did that. No, <laughs> you don't have that one on the soundboard. No, <laughs> just Gigas saying no, no. no. <laughs> uh, Heno says I love Pokemon. When I see someone hate or I love Pokemon, I love Porygon. Jeez. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. When I see someone hating on Porygon, I <laughs> I'm going to try and say this with a straight face. Oh no! I love Porygon. When I see someone hating on Porygon, I 252 special attack Porygon Z at choice specs, Terra Normal, Adaptability, Hyper Beam versus minus zero special defense, zero HP Porygon hater. So uh, in parentheses, don't want to do caps. Guaranteed KO. Except they spelled guaranteed wrong. I heart heart Porygon. <laughs> I love that. Thanks, Hanno. <laughs> that, that's a perfect way to hijack the question. When hey, I, Hanno. Hey, yeah. hey, Hanno. Porygon sucks. Oh, <laughs> watch out. You're going you're gonna to get 252 special attack Porygon Z at choice specs, Terra normal, adaptability, hyper beamed. Oh, watch no, out. I never wanted to get 252 special attack, normal, Terra hyper beamed. You missed choice specs. I, could, I oh, couldn't repeat so it. I couldn't. You're Imagine so I was able to do that. I know. Oh. I was I was about to be so, so impressed. If I had yeah. it in front of me, I could have read it the same way you did, though. Oh, cool. <laughs> if only. Uh, the Rave Train says, yo, Edinburgh nave, native here. Uh, I had a friend visiting the city recently, and I gave a rec list of things to try and see. If there's a way to send it to you before your trip, let me know. Fringe will be fun. That's awesome. Send it to pokesportspodcast at gmail.com, please. I would yeah, love to see that. Yeah. 
That is our we email. Need you can list. find it in places. I need I need stuff to do in Edinburgh, so hit me up. Um, Bronze Swagger says, I watched the podcast today. Nice. And I must know, Kevin, I've seen your cat in the background, and I must know its name, whether it's a boy or a girl, et cetera, et cetera. I must know everything. Cappuccino, it's a boy. Ah, cappuccino. <laughs> yes, it is brown. That's cute. Um, Hoodly do, Hoodly do. He says he kind of hangs out. He's not here right now, though. No, he's hiding he's somewhere uh, else. He came out before the before the pod. Mm -hmm. He was on the preach. <laughs> Subscribe oh, to yeah? Patreon. You'll see my cat. <laughs> uh, Hoodly do. Forty Doodly new says, subscriptions. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best thing we've ever done. Dude. Offered a cat. Uh, one ply, two ply, or three ply says hoodly doodly. Two ply. See, I, mean, I was great. team. I was team three ply until I recently bought a twenty five a twenty four pack of single ply with one thousand sheets each ply, and I'm still burning through it. It's been months now. Fair. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I I get it. I get it. I, I'm surprised. Because you can turn it's it very into two-ply. Uh, you just have to use more, yeah. Yeah, sure. All right, CJ says, how long have you played competitive Pokemon for? Let's move away from toilet paper into <laughs> the Poke Sports, a competitive Pokemon podcast. Hey, we're just answering Ask Us Anything. Yeah, I mean, we're, was, you asked. This sure, was, this sure was anything. How long have you played competitive Pokemon? Oh. 2013, 11 years. Was it 2013? X yeah, and guess. Y was mine, yeah. Uh, uh, really? Yours was X and Y? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I didn't start were, before that. You were a shooter I'm younger that. than you, Mike, yes. Yeah. Uh, well, no, you were playing, like, COD before that. Yeah, um, unfortunately. <laughs> I was black and white, I think. When What's the release date on that? Like, 2012? Yeah. Feels like... No, maybe. 2013. Like 2010. Three-year cycle, right? Pokemon Black and White release date. 2010, yeah, 2010. Is too young. No, it's 2010. That's when it came out. Really? Uh, one. Black and White one. My oh, name. okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. okay. That's why it feels weird to me. Right. Black so, and wow. White 2 was after that. Yeah. Oh yeah, 2013. Yeah, three year cycle. I'm stupid. Why did I think my brain said 2016? I'm still playing Pokemon Go. <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, Whatever. no, I I uh because I was a singles player and showdown was like real hype back then. Mm -hmm. I think I skipped black and white. I didn't skip it, you but I, I didn't play. Com I didn't play competitively. Yeah. I, I own them. I can play them. I guess mm -hmm. I just have to find time. Yeah. It's a, it's a good game. That's why they made a sequel. Cause they were like, Oh, we can sequel this. <laughs> and they did. And I probably only played the sequel though. Do I have to play the first? I don't have to play the first one, right? Um, no. I should. You should. Okay. You should. There are a lot of. It takes place after Black and White, so like, while you'll be reintroduced to the characters, you'll save a lot of mental energy if you just, you know, grow up with them. Here's the remedy: I'll watch a Let's Play on Black ah. and White, and then play Black to White too. Yeah, watch it on two X speed. Get through it real quick. Mm -hmm. Umbreon 1080 says, uh, "Do you know?" Did you know the hole in front of Rog and Rolla is its ear? No way. Hold on. Mm -mm. That's its ear? That's its ear. You know where my we're next all, question is We're be. all looking up. <laughs> What's its, the thing that we think the ear is? Oh my god, he's right. Yeah. The it's hexagonal the shape hole is its ear. It has a tendency to walk in the, in the direction the sound is coming from. So oh. Rog and Rolla is just blind. And you know what? That, <laughs> I wonder if that question was inspired by the fact that we were talking about ears for a very long time and ear cleaning. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Rog and Rolla has the least amount of ears, but yet the most amount of mm -hmm. ears. Oh, it's got the huh. most amount of ears for sure. Uh, okay. There's one from David here. It says, <clears throat> love the draft league talk. What's your favorite Pokemon that you've only had a chance to use because of a draft or a Pokemon that you've seen how good it is because of draft? Mine is Thunder Asterion, says David. Oh, that's a hard question. It's been so long since I've done draft league. Well, well, we could uh, toss in Bruno's thing before uh, because of that. 
instead oh, of that. Malamar Cup. Yeah, 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 yeah. Malamar Cup. That's kind of a draft league. Changes every single week, but right. it's similar enough. Is there a Pokemon the weirdest... that you've played that's strange in that? You know what I always find myself liking when I mm. play it? Even though it's just objectively worse than Cinderor, but I still like playing it. Hound Doom. Luxray. Oh. I, I, I feel good playing Luxray. What did you say, mm. Ditto? Hound Doom. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Luxray, I, I don't know, it just works for me. Just sit there and snarl and then Volt switch out when you're bored. But like, it'll never, it'll never make a VGC. Like it, it'll never. No, 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 never. No, 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 it's no. worse than Cinderor. It's, sure. it's it's horrible. But it, sometimes when you can't afford Incineroar, you sometimes you got to settle for Luxray. It's budget Incineroar. <laughs> That's literally what what happens. Or even uh, Litleo is pretty fun to play. Not Litleo. No, not Litleo. What's the what's the second Incineroar? Torcat. Torcat. Torcat's fun to play too. Evie Light. Evie Light Torcat. Mm. Yeah. Does that get hard in shot too? Yes, it also uh-huh. gets fake out, and it's also faster than Incineroar. It's like 92 base speed. It slows down? Yeah, yeah. Incineroar uh, goes to base 60. On. Wow. Brother, he garbage. gets buff, my guy. He's, you know, he's working out there. You can have speed. I am speed. He's on two legs. Ka-chow. The other one's on four. That's it's not fair. his fault. Right. <laughs> you win. All right, uh, let me get into part two. Ask us anything. Um, Evangeline comes back and says Stellar uh, Stellar Terra Scream Tale video by Kevin, please. Oh, are you talking about the metronome one? The metronome one? Oh, I think the we metronome should do metronome one. Yeah, we never did this, but we kind of like loosely yeah, planned it on a podcast. Yeah. yeah. Stellar Terra metronome Scream Tale versus each other and just see what happens. <laughs> I like it. I still do <laughs> like it, and I think it should happen. Yeah. Okay, uh, Jackson says, what has been your favorite regional or team you've used for a regional and why? I'm going to go with the first one because I, I um, what's what's the term? I thought dump uh, mm-hmm. when it comes to the teams that I use at regionals. So, like, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you what I used except for violence because I named it. And I think that's what happened. I think my favorite regional for uh, for me specifically. Yeah. Was uh, it's really it's really I mean it's not even really regional well but it was NAIC last year sure. had a good time we had a really good time I oh yeah let's let's can we talk a little bit about what we did uh, last year let's reminisce a bit okay uh, tell me something and then I'll, I'll was that the, remember the rest was that when we played Pal World was that a year ago already yeah Ain't no way was it no no. That would have been the most recent. That was we were in Charlotte for that. It's we all a blur, Charlotte. guys. That's yeah, the I know, right? We go so often, it's a blur. Because we're with the same people who we never see yeah. in things other than those. Pokemon. Yes. <laughs> so it's like when when we see those people, we're like, okay, committing that to memory. We're making memories. Uh, so Charlotte was. Now, are you changing your answer to Charlotte then, or no? I think by and large, Ohio was was way better. Yeah, yeah. No, it was it was still Ohio. Mm-hmm. I remember we went to the club. We got Mikey's late night slice. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. We went to what was that? Play, Brothers that everyone else went to. Yeah, talked to a lot of people. That was a lot of fun. It's a fun time. That wasn't the year that we went to that outdoor, uh, like beach, right? Like that's, that's no. You're thinking beach. about Beast Coast. That was Beast Coast. That, that was one was Beast great Coast. too. That was fun too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, with uh, with the professor. I like the year where we beat Pangy at beer pong. That was fun, yeah. <laughs> that, that was a good time. Sorry, Pangy, I had to beat you at something. You beat that was at, at Brothers. Else. Yeah, that was Ohio. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, we we tend to like kind of join in on the other Pokemon uh, people in the Pokemon community uh, who are who are out and doing stuff. Uh, Not playing Pokemon, and, yeah. And it's it's wild when when that happens. Like it's it's always a fun time. You know, you get to talk. It's like to seeing your you never... teacher at the grocery store. You're seeing your, yeah. your Pokemon friend what? out in the wild. I guess, yeah, but like... like I don't hang out with them after. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Team, probably my brute bonnet team because old Greg. It, and also, I think that was still my best finish. Also, my Sandy Shocks team because old Greg. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't remember most of the Pokemon on that, but I know that there was a Sandy Shocks and a Roaring Moon, and I was very happy about those two. That's all you needed. Yeah, yeah. 
which was Orlando Regional, if you were trying to remember that team for you, Michael. Right. Thank you. Yes, Orlando I could Orlando Regional 20, 22? Three. Three? Must have been 23. Early? Oh, the last year. Yeah, 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 it was 23. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, WF Beta? B-A-E-T-A, different ways, but I'm Beta. Uh, is saying, is there a future for Alolan Raichu? Yes. Oh, Surge Surfer. Okay. Soon. Oh. Actually, very soon on the channel. So stick around and find out. Oh. Um, it, it, it's not today's video. It might actually be either tomorrow or the day after. It's, it's really it's soon. It's coming soon. I, I, I remember. Done, yeah. yeah. But yes, yes, you can run that next time right on. Alolan Raichu actually has a partner that uses electric terrain that's actually good. Yes. Yeah. Stay we tuned for it. next Wednesday. Kevin was saying it might be tomorrow. Yeah. Stay tuned next Wednesday. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, I'm very ahead. (laughs) (laughs) Kevin's very happy about his progress. Uh, Hannah says, hi. I was just wondering what you guys think about using lesser used Pokemon in BGC. Should you follow the trends or should you try and set your own? Now, I'm going to go before Kevin here because I'm Mm -hmm. pretty sure what what he's going to say. And I'm just going to say it before he does. Is I think that's kind of the thing that we show on our channel is that on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Pokesports, is that you can enjoy the game using whatever Pokemon you like. There's a lot of things that you have to do to make them competitive. Uh, and a lot of that is like team building. It's like you know, putting putting the proper items and the proper um, abilities and moves on those Pokemon. But, you know, you can have fun with them. Will you mm-hmm. win as much as the top meta teams? Probably not, because they're top meta for a reason they have high win percentages but if you're trying to just have fun with it knowing that some of the time you're going to lose and most of the variance between like a top meta and a bottom meta or like never use team is like maybe a 15 percent win rate Mm -hmm. like you'll you'll have fun this is also a very loaded question because there's some variance to it. It's not like, okay, so if your favorite Pokemon's Caterpie, good luck finding another game. Right. But, I mean, if your favorite Pokemon, for example, was Gallade, or was Gallade for a very good time, a year ago from today, any competitive Pokemon player would have told you, Gallade sucks, don't use it. Mm-hmm. But yet, nowadays, Gallade is a highly respected Trick Room Pokemon. Right. You know? Because of what it can do against Incineroar specifically. If if you know the niche well enough and you know the the meta well enough, okay, so for example, Fairy Terra Rhydon, Hard Walls Maridon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, it just does. What does a Maridon do to something with lightning rod and is a fairy terra? Nothing. <laughs> so there are certain Pokemon that can hard wall meta, and those are the Pokemon that you can probably get some sneak wins with. Sure. But again, if your favorite Pokemon's Caterpie or Spupa, right? <laughs> n- no, you might. There, there not has to be, be some right kind of. There has to be something there that other Pokemon can't do. Right. Competitively, they need to have some kind of advantage. I have been uh, going down a, a strange rabbit hole over the past couple of days. For people who don't know about me, I started my, uh, I guess, career in esports in uh starcraft 2 i was a competitive starcraft 2 player for a little bit and recently i've gotten back into watching like pro casts of of starcraft 2 and watching like the pro korean players usually uh battle it out and something that that you know i thought of the other day is like starcraft did such a good job at making it so every possible unit kind of had a a place in you know in usage right pokemon the whole premise of it is that you know you start off with a little guy and it evolves into a bigger guy and you can kind of use any of the bigger guys for something in Mm. uh in in a competitive a competitive play um but like i i just as a casual starcraft 2 player now i would go into a game and i would play with just kind of whatever unit fit my uh fit my fit my fancy for the time Mm -hmm. but like would a top level player play the same kind of units as me no no but i'd still have fun you know building a bunch of i don't know immortals and just kind of running them through but yeah anyway i thought that was interesting 
There's our tangent. There's our tangent. Taneda says, making a podcast sounds like a lot of fun since you're chatting with a friend about a passion you share. What's your favorite part about making a podcast, but also what's your least favorite part? Oh, mm. I know Mike's least favorite part is editing it at two in the morning <laughs> and then uploading it the next day. That's unique to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Okay. I don't really hate any part of this, honestly. I mean, if I was the one editing it, I would hate that part, too. <laughs> I'm just glad I don't. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, the, yeah, sure. My favorite part of it, ironically, is when we don't talk about Pokemon. <laughs> we just we just kind of talk about life. Because a lot of the times, Mike has a family. Mm-hmm. I have a 60-hour work week. Mike has his own X amount of work week plus sure. significant other. <laughs> yeah. We don't talk throughout the week that much. We used to play League a lot. We don't even do that anymore, mm-hmm. thankfully. <laughs> yeah. Um, even Unite, we don't play Unite anymore. So a lot of the times, the the podcast where we go off on tangents and talk about wisdom teeth remo- removal and toilet paper rolls, <laughs> that's just us catching up after a week of not talking to mm-hmm. each other. <laughs> mm-hmm. that's it probably brings us part. closer as friends. Yeah, I like that. Mm. Uh, my favorite part of the podcast, uh, yeah, like I, I agree, the the tangents the are really Pokemon. good. They're not, ironically, <laughs> not. You know what? I I do like the the Pokemon stuff. I okay, I got it. My favorite part. I like of new news the, of the uh, new news. Like when new games are coming out, we get to talk about that yeah. stuff. Or like spoilers oh, yeah. and leaks and all that stuff. I I'm always down for that. I love mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. Yeah, when the when the games like new and when it, you know there are things that people keep like figuring out about it the first thought usually that i have when i come across something new is like oh i can't wait to talk about that on the pod i can't wait to talk to kevin about that see what he says about this that's when we actually have notes <laughs> yeah when that happens we actually make notes so during that life cycle of the game i that's my favorite part apart from that what's consistent is whenever i go to like an in-person event like a regional or national or a beast coast kind of thing. Um, And people come up to us and they say, you know, Hey, I love your podcast. I I listen to you guys uh, every week or I listen to you guys when I can, or I listen to you guys on my commute or something. And I'm like, I didn't know you before. And you kind of came out of, out of the fog and identified that you listened to us. That to me, that's, that's beautiful. I love that. Like uh, our friend John Luke, who found us at baggage claim at Toronto Airport. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's we we true. were recognized that baggage claim. <laughs> we didn't even get to the event yet. That's true. And uh, one of one of my favorite interactions, and he, maybe he'll listen to this, maybe you won't. I don't know. Uh, was was Sonny, uh, who I have oh, yeah. two different uh, instances where he, he came up and he was like, hey, man, I'm running Enam Milo. And that <laughs> just set the pace for the rest of the weekend. And I don't think he knew that, but it, it definitely was like, I'm just going, eat it, my lord. <laughs> Tell me one more reason why I should never eat it, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> it made no sense, but I, I loved it. I loved it. Sonny, I hope you know, you're, you, you just earned your right on Mike's deathbed. Like, as Mike <laughs> is passing, that is one of the core memories that he will see. <laughs> As his life flashes before his eyes. <laughs> I was in Ina Malo. All for you. Ooh, you. Ooh, Ina Malo. That, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Least favorite part about, about making a podcast uh, is that everybody has a podcast, man. Like, it, it feels <laughs> like uh, the. The whole idea two of, dudes of making pod- a podcast, yeah, right. Like <laughs> two, two dudes, dudes making a podcast is the is the meme, right? Mm. And, and it's the meme because it's cliche, because it's a thing that so many people do. Because it's you know all you really need is the microphone and the stuff or whatever, and you just talk for a little bit. But like, I feel like for us, for the for the majority of it, like we there's a lot more that goes into this than just the typical like sit down and record like we do this for a reason we do this intentionally um you know on top of the fact that we do seven uh videos a week about Mm -hmm. about pokemon right like it all kind of feeds into itself you know so i I feel like we 
my least favorite part is the fact that it's so saturated this this podcast market but at the same time like that that doesn't matter to you know a fan that doesn't like somebody who listens to us week after week like that i i love those people like that's Mm -hmm. great i don't know mike just wants to be hipster everybody also just like the time well yeah maybe Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Maybe back in like pre-COVID, cool. we were like, "Oh, hey, look at this thing we're doing that that other people aren't doing." Now everyone has a Pokemon podcast, specifically, <laughs> and that that everything podcast. Yeah, like I'm a, I, I guess I would call myself kind of a podcast producer now. Uh, I, I work with a couple other podcasts as well to produce their stuff, and one thing that, that we the deal thing with gives some money. I I mean. <laughs> Mike hates Maybe his job. I'm anti-establishment. I think I might yeah, just yeah. be anti-establishment. That's that's my thing. <laughs> Mike just wants AI to do everyone's job so he can sleep and die slowly. If that means that we can all <laughs> just sleep and die slowly, like, all right, cool. <laughs> if we can have fun, I mean, while do, yes. well, anyway, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh it, I think we answered that question sufficiently. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Next. Um, let's see. Let's see. Amnesia says, if Pokemon were to mix with other popular shows, what would you like to see? A Grey's Anatomy with Chansey? I'd, uh, I'd want to <laughs> see more of the Squirtle Squad mixed in with the A-Team. Oh, that's cool. Well, I'd, I'd love to see Incineroar and Halucha duke it out on WWE TV. Mm, yeah, okay. There's yours. <laughs> yep. yep. Let's get our Luchamons in here. I'd love to see like just Breaking Bad, but one random episode that some guy just like pulls out a set of clef keys and just opens their door with it, puts it away, never makes reference to it for the rest of the show. It's like Planet of the Annihilates. (laughs) (laughs) What have you done? (laughs) What have you done? Just a bunch of apes like. (laughs) I think you I think you just that's the that's the title. You found it. And you can wow. have Orangaroo there, Pasimian, just a bunch of monkeys. Planet just doing monkey of things. The Nile apes. Oh, there's never going to be something better than that. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. Uh, is, oh, is that the title of the video? Of the oh, yeah, Planet <laughs> of the Nile apes? Absolutely. Done. <laughs> uh, Isabel says, no question, just giggling about Moist Critical. I think we talked about Critical. <laughs> last- oh, yeah, because we, <laughs> we have our impressions. Tickling so much like is someone tickling your feet at the bottom of <laughs> Wow, that's <laughs> You had that just uh, in the chamber, just ready. I can't think of anything else. I just do a really good moist critical voice. <laughs> All right, the next one's coming from Luke. And I think we'll we have time for like, I don't know, two more. And I say we have time for it because that's how much I want to do. Uh Luke, and I'll say this like uh Charlie here. If you could have any Pokemon IRL, what would it be? A part of me would want Dragonite so I could Hyper Beam losers like Lance does in Gold and Silver. Dragonair is my favorite, so I want that Sky Noodle. <laughs> that actually, Sky Noodle sounds like something most critical would say. Yeah. <laughs> ah, Pokemon in real life. Usually when I get this question, I've, I've answered this question a couple of times. I yeah. try to be practical with it. Like, what is so difficult in my everyday life that I would need the help of a Pokemon for? Hmm. I would need like something. I would need some kind of like machine that could handle the thing that the Pokemon does. Cause I like you, you could kind of do a cop out and be like, oh, I want my choke or my champ so it could help me lift stuff. And it's like, how often in your life do you actually need someone to lift stuff? And how often would you just be like feeding this guy sandwiches as he chills on your couch? Like, I want an ambipom. Ooh, okay. A lot of hands can help yeah. me brush my teeth put on my socks do my i hair would at the same time you know what i <laughs> would um wager a guess that ambipom I would, i'd challenge that a bit ambipom has two hands just like most other pokemon uh, yeah it does kind of have stubs huh it has two hands and stubs yeah dang yeah you're right Okay, I think what you're trying mind. to say is Machamp, but I just kind of like, oh yeah, four hands. <laughs> drop that, that whole one thing also for has you. Machamp. Yeah, oh, I mean, you could. Ooh, you know what? You could do like any grass Pokemon, right? Like you could do like a Tangela, a Tangrowth, something that can just do the holding and moving of stuff with the vines, and all you ever really need to feed it is water, 
and we have oh, that's lots true. of that. Yeah, yeah. There's plenty of water. Because so like, remember, okay, you gotta so I, feed these guys. Oh, that's true. Okay, so it can't be like anything carnivorous. Like I can't get a Gyarados. Yeah. Like I'm imagine the size of that fish tank. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> in the uh, whole room. I feel like you could do very well with like a a Wismer. Um, okay. As <laughs> And a, a combination <laughs> alarm clock and sleep aid. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now you got someone and who can, can sing you to sleep and you got someone who can uh, boom burst you awake. I need I need to like duct tape uh, an Everstone to that head because the second that turns into a Loudred, uh, that's, too, that's, that's it's too done. animal for me. That's this, not staying in the house. That's going outside in a dog house. The second <laughs> that thing evolves, you've got HOA to deal with. <laughs> you've got people coming banging down your door being like we haven't slept in weeks because of you <laughs> your whismer evolved and it's a problem yeah i fucking keep a whismer quiet maybe not a loudred no 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 you can't keep a loudred quiet it's almost like whismer sounds like whisper and loudred sounds like loud loud <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 and i mean god forbid that thing turns into an x cloud at, at that point i would like, do grookey. grookey i like a grookey yeah, just like as a little companion that can turn into a big guy who's like, dude, just brother a bro. does, does sick, sick beats. He, he just be tapping all day. He'd be oh. like that middle school kid that was like too good at double pen taps on the table. He just yeah. be doing that all day. So you've basically got, oh, what's his name? It's not Chad Kroger. Is it Chad Smith? Yeah, it's Chad Smith uh, from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. You just got like a Chad Smith yes. in your house all day who's all day. just like, whole vibe is to, to make dope beats. Here's my next question. Does Grookey only eat water too? Or does that does this one consume flesh? I think it this is one, a monkey and a plant. I think this one does <laughs> consume flesh. When does a plant what is when does a grass Pokemon go from plant to animal? Like where where do we draw the line there? That's true. Grookey <laughs> is kind of a plant animal here. Uh, <laughs> hmm. So it can eat bananas. Bananas are fine. Oh, okay. Maybe okay. It, it's carnivorous entire plants exist. Because listen, we're not because here's the thing. There, there are definitely people who are listening right now and being like, no, man, they eat puffins. We're not living in the Pokemon world. We're talking if the Pokemon lived in our world, they have to live by our rules. Mm -hmm. And the most that they can do is maybe evolve. Even maybe they don't evolve in this world. You have a Grookey, you need like 17 generations for that thing to you need turn, into a, turn into actual a actual years. <laughs> yeah, you need actual years. You need like babies like DNA needs to be passed down in order for them to eventually turn into what we would identify as a Rillaboom. Now, Grookey, eat a banana. Okay. I think that is safe to say. Yes. And that all Grookey need banana. Forever. It's going to get all of, all of its macro micronutrients from this banana. <laughs> what do monkeys eat in order to have the nutrients they need? Bugs? They do the stick in the hole and they get uh, termites. Ah, uh, protein powder. <laughs> Let's solve everything with protein powder. I'm pretty sure <laughs> that everything is solved. Sprinkle some whey on some bananas. For you. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Give them some whey. <laughs> yeah. Give your grookey some whey. <laughs> hey, you know what? Don't give your grookey some whey today. Get yourself your grookey, hand it a nice little banana, but before you give it that banana, just go and sprinkle a little bit of whey on it. That's been a pro tip from Poke Sports. Thank Everyone likes much. peanut butter, just feed them all peanut butter. Yeah, that's true. But what if some of them are allergic? We should play a game called Plant or Animal. Okay. In which we take we, we take grass types and just oh. decide whether they're plants <laughs> or animals. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. That's gonna be a fun well, game. Let's let's give a let's give a, a little teaser here. Okay. <laughs> uh, shaman, plant or animal? I would say animal. Okay. It's got four legs. Okay. How about this one? Smoliv. Oh, that one is uh, harder. <laughs> that is <laughs> a little harder. That's got to be a plant. That's got to be a plant. I think it's I think it's a plant too. Now let's take it one step further. Doliv. Where are we now? <laughs> oh, uh, it's got limbs. <laughs> what, do, what do we do? It's got limbs. It's got a, it's got a head that it's is more face. head looking. There's a face on it. 
Yeah, you know uh, what? I, I feel like, okay, okay. I feel like Smoliv is a plant that has mutated into a thing. Like, that's not has the game, gained Mike. sentience. No, 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 it is. Okay. I, I think this plant has gained sentience. That that makes okay. it a plant. I don't think that Dolive is that anymore. I think Dolive and subsequently Arboliva <clears throat> is the process of Smoliv turning from plant to animal. Okay. Okay. Except the plant oh. side fights back at our Boliva and it roots it to the ground. It's torture for this thing. <laughs> Just know that our Boliva lives in pain. <laughs> our Boliva's <laughs> life is pain. As it, it grows it, olives, <laughs> like not sentient olives, from its arms. Those drop and sometimes maybe uh, those olives will evolve and gain sentience and become small lives again. Okay. Yeah. I agree. So to answer your question, uh, <laughs> plants, <laughs> animal, 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 but cursed. <laughs> uh, the best game. Bell sprout. <laughs> Bell sprout. Oh, wow. Listen, Bell sprout. I, I, uh, I, it's plant. I think it's plant. I think it's plant all the way through. Yeah, I don't yeah, think it way. ever is just not plant to gain sentience. Plant. Yeah. Uh, in a hard, in a hard uh, since since we just did a full plant line, I think a full animal line is chikorita. Can we agree that you can cut open a chikorita, it will bleed? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, no! That's not the way I want to figure out this game. That's how I'm deciding oh, if it's no. plant or animal. I don't think. I don't think Bellsprout would. I mm -hmm. do think Chikorita would. <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm with you. I'm with you. I think uh <laughs> I think grass type animal only Pokemon are all cursed. Um <laughs> <laughs> just look uh, at Bulbasaur's face. <laughs> Bulbasaur, yes, perfect example. Perfect example. Bulbasaur is animal through and through. Uh mm. however, it's got a plant growing on its back. That's a fungus. That it needs to it needs get help. that checked out. It needs help. <laughs> um, as it evolves, so too does the fungus. As Chikorita evolves, so too does the Pikmin esque uh, infliction it has on itself. I got a hard one. Yeah. Tangela. Mm. See, that's the thing. That's what happens when the curse goes too far. Is you I stop, wanted to say plant though, but you stop continue. being able to tell. You uh -huh. <laughs> plant, but feet. <laughs> yeah, it has feet, but what is underneath the tangle? Could it have been animal? It could have been. <laughs> Maybe that's just Dolive in a different dimension and where Dolive started one. growing vines, and the vines consumed the Dolive. Are there any starters that are plant, not animal? Oh, hold oh. on. Uh, let's see. So we've got Bulbasaur, Chikorita, Most starters Turtwig. I think of are animals. Yeah, Bulbasaur, Chikorita, Turtwig are all animals first, I'd say. Okay. Okay. Snivy? I don't know. I, I think I might, I might pull a plant on Snivy. It's got feet, head, and arms. And to but me... <sighs> yeah, maybe. Well, maybe not. It, it's Charmander, but with a leaf tail. You ever think yeah, of it like okay. that? No, now that you said it like that. I mean, Rowlet is an owl. That's just an owl. That's just an owl. Like, it's not yeah. even grass. It's, it's an, an owl. <laughs> uh, Chespin. Uh, I think that one is like pretty close to the curse taking over. Like it's got the grass head. It's a big nut. Yeah, it's a big nut. Uh, Trico. I mean, it's a gecko. again, the curse. No, is just I think all starters are animals. Grassy huh? tail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't <laughs> like that we've identified. I don't like that I've identified <laughs> grass Pokemon <laughs> as animals, as cursed animals. This is now the favorite part of my po of the yeah, podcast. Yeah, right? you asked about the favorite part of the podcast. This is my favorite part of the podcast. Plants or animals. <laughs> but you can do it with so 
play along at home. Go and find your. That's the question of the day. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Look up a grass Pokemon and and identify it as a plant or animal. And if it's one, if it's more one than the other, explain why. Yeah, you have to defend your case here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can't just uh, say absolutely. one or the other. Absolutely, defend yourself. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll give you one, two. Two more. Okay. I know I said two like 20 minutes ago. This one's like, what, two hours long? Who knows? Uh, but this is, <laughs> this is really fun. Steven says, Mike, <laughs> how is the voice acting journey progressing? Uh, thanks for asking. I do gigs here and there. Uh, usually I lend my voice to events, which typically you won't see online, right? So I'll say like, uh, please take your seats. The event will start in 10 minutes and then do another like five minutes, three, two, something like that, or announce winners of awards and stuff. So that's been going all right. Um, in terms of actually like voicing commercials or voicing shows or that kind of stuff, like I, I would still love to, and I think I would take the opportunity to, but I don't really actively seek it out. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I would, if anybody came up to me, I, I, Probably would. Yeah, Mike recently lost his studio too, so. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, I basically do everything off of this. So. <laughs> uh, and as you can hear, sometimes there are really fast cars that drive by. I drive a fast car. I don't know why I got into that song. I can't wait for the next game. Animal or machine? <laughs> <laughs> That's steel types? Where we go over steel types. Animal? Clang, clang? Who knows? Uh-oh. <laughs> I mean, that, like, if we had a logo, Agron? if we had a Animal. logo for that, if we had a logo for that, that, uh, that segment, it would be a cling clang. <laughs> Machines. Yes. Yeah. Animal or machine. All right. Um, buh, 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 buh. There's a lot left here, but I just want to choose the best one. Oh, okay. Uh, Kaylee Hart says, I'm competing, but I also live in NOLA. If y'all have a day where you want to be somewhere more chill that has air conditioning, check out Autobahn Aquarium. It's right by the quarter. And I've said that out loud to all of the other people who are listening who might be going to New Orleans. So uh, Kaylee Hart says Autobahn Aquarium. I like going to aquariums and taking pictures of fish and calling You them do Pokemon like doing names. that. I, yes, I know I this about you. <laughs> oh, it's interesting. And calling them Pokemon names. Yeah. Next game, fish or thing <laughs> fish or water elemental <laughs> is this thing more fish or water have you have you gotten those tiktoks that's like is this a pokemon or an fda approved drug yes it's so funny because if for i i know a lot of pokemon so i know the answer to everything but yeah, for people we are who burdened don't, with the truth yeah yeah for people who don't like Monoxidil? That could be a Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Hyproxen could be a Pokemon, yeah, you know? Yeah. We have Hydreigon. It's not far off. <laughs> we've got Vivalon and we've got Vivance. Like, you know. Like, <laughs> all right, cool. Um, that's that's good. That's good. Thank you, Kaylee, for that. Uh I'll just do one bonus one here. Emergence says, when will you guys go more in depth with team building and actual strategies that can be employed? Uh, I mean, listen enough and they, they kind of show up. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather hear plants and animals? And one ply <laughs> to three ply, you know? But no, I, I mean, we, we whenever the mood hits, we usually do that. <laughs> Every like, you know, 50 or so episodes, we're like, you know what? We should We should help out the people who are a little more new. Uh, mm. And then we do as in depth as we can, and then we're good for another fifty episodes. Yeah, there are definitely you just episodes to be on episode thirty. Right, there are definitely mm. episodes that still are relevant when it comes to uh, like the the fundamentals, um, as it relates to regulation G. I haven't done that one yet. Could probably mm. do that in the future. Maybe let's let's wait until after NAIC, kind of see how things go there, and do a little deep dive on that if we want to. Yeah, I don't know if asking me, Kevin, the person who still doesn't always bring in a week for team building advice is, is the right answer. Yeah, let's here. let's bring on a guest. Let's bring on <laughs> somebody from NAIC and be like, all right, you tell us. How did you get here? Yeah. 
Okay, you want team building advice? Bring Clefairy and Calyrex Shadow. That's uh-huh. what we went over in today's video. Big team building advice here is go and look at the last three regionals. Look at the fact that the the winning team was very similar to each other and make a team that looks a little bit like that. Practice a lot of it and see if you can break NAIC with it. And that's our time. Thank you so much for listening to Pokey Sports this week. Uh, again, if you want to go and leave a question for us, just like these ones, these fantastic people have, you can do so on Spotify at the uh, Q&A section. It should be somewhere on your screen. You'll be able to find it. You're a smart person. You know what to do. If you are listening to this on Apple Podcasts, you know what would do us a, a big favor over there is if you leave a five-star review, like this person, I Guy Fubi from Apple Podcasts <laughs> in Great Britain who says love this pod absolutely love listening to Mike who plays with one Pokemon on the field and that's the end of it doesn't say anything else just kidding says wow. and Kevin fun listen Mike and Kevin are knowledgeable and fun and I love how you can fully focus in on the meta or go off on a tangent about Poke Rogue or Poke Doku or whatever favorite Pokemon podcast along with Little Root Lessons who we also love very much big shout out to Little Root Lessons but bigger shout out to I Guy Fubi. Thanks so much. And if you go and leave a five-star review, we might go and read it on the podcast. So, ooh, fun times. Uh, if you enjoyed this podcast and go and do something about it, do that. Go to patreon.com slash pokesports where you can go and subscribe for even more Pokemon fun content like our Preach and uh, some other games where Kevin actually tries really hard at Pokemon. Uh, or if you want to see Kevin have some fun, with some really interesting teams built by you guys, you can go over to youtube.com slash pokesports where we have a new video every single day. There you go. Mike just did his uh, voice acting for the quarter. Good job, guys. We did it. Hey, Woo! made it happen. You made it happen. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. No, we won't. No, that's true. <laughs> we'll see you in two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> Unless you're Bye. at... NAIC in which case we'll see you next week and yes. we'll do a podcast by both of us talking to you if you like live podcast so, there you go alright bye Kevin or Mike plants are in this week.